Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, we almost done 2018. I'm excited about what's about to come in 2019. I uh, want to take the time today to just give y'all some quick tips. One of the things that is uh, that is happening is I'm getting a lot of calls, texts, emails, etc., from clients who I've had over the years who, um, you know, who you know, when a furlough comes up, they have, obviously they have questions. They're going to call me, ask questions on what they should do. You know, because you know, for a number of reasons. One, you know, we talk about stuff like this and uh, help them prepare for moments of uh, financial emergency. Um, and then some of the things like in 2016, I think it was, when uh, there was a pretty long furlough that happened. I think it was like two weeks or a week or something like that. Um, I had clients who you know were able to take money out of their whole life insurance policy instead of. Um, going into their TSP, they were able to take money out of their policy um, and not be penalized. And so that's happening again. I'm starting to get those same calls. So at that time, you know, I just helped them out and we, we just we just kept it moving. But today, I wanted to give you guys some, you know, some information on why it's important. And so I came up with four different things. If you're on my email list, you probably got this email already. But I wanted to go over the four main reasons why having a whole life insurance policy is important especially in a furlough situation or even in a retirement situation or financial emergency situation. This could apply to all those things. But this is why having a whole life insurance policy is good to have um, when you need access to money. Um, and in this scenario, I'm also just going to compare it to the TSP for all you federal government employees, right? Because a lot of people like to go into their TSP to borrow money, um, but a whole life insurance policy can be a better way. Um, and so reason number one is you know, when you withdraw money from a T from your TSP, you got to pay a fifty dollar application fee or processing fee, is what they like to call it. Um, whereas, if you have a whole life policy, that is free. So, if you want to take out five thousand dollars from your whole life policy, uh, you don't have to pay any fee or nothing like that. That money will come to you in a matter of days. Whereas with TSP, there's a fifty dollar fee that goes on that application. I mean, goes a part is a part of that taking money out. Um, the next thing is uh, with TSP, when you, when you withdraw money from the TSP, you can only do one at a time. You know, you can't take multiple loans out against your TSP. Whereas if you have a whole life cash value policy, you can take as many loans out as you want, or you can take as many, take as much money out of the policy as you want, as long as the money's there. You can't take $10,000 of a policy that only has $5,000 in cash in it. That won't work, but that won't work with TSP either. So um, as long as the money is there, you can take out as much money as you want. Um, which is a really cool feature. Um, number three, with a with the TSP, you have five years maximum that you have to pay the loan back, and you have to pay the money back with your TSP. Um, there's no way around that. So you can the longest you can spread the money, the loan out is five years. Whereas with the whole life policy, you don't have to pay the money back. It's up to you if you want to pay it back or not. Um, now the the downside to that is, if you say say you have five thousand dollars on the policy, that's a hundred thousand dollar policy. If you take five thousand dollars out of the cash value, your policy drops from ninety from hundred to ninety five thousand. However, you don't have to pay the money back. That's not a requirement. So that could mess you up when it comes to like cash flow or savings and things like that. Um, whereas with the TSP, like if you have the TSP, so like in the TSP, I've seen people that are trying to save for retirement, but they're also paying you know three hundred dollars a pay period back on a TSP loan. So that's hurting the amount of money that they can be saving and adding to their principal. Um, whereas with, <clears throat> with the whole life policy, you don't have to pay the money back. It just comes off the cash value. I mean, <clears throat> off the death benefit of the policy, which to some people isn't that, that big a deal. Uh, and number four, um, and it's kind of related to number, to number three, is that with the TSP, you got to pay the money back at, not only do you have to pay the money back, but you also have to pay the money back with a 3% interest rate on top of that. Um, and so that's, you know, you're paying a finance charge on your own money, uh, which is, which, which, which can hurt again when it comes to your retirement. Um, so, you, you know, you just always want to minimize how much money you have to pay back at interest. Like, you know, some people just don't pay attention to that stuff, but if you're smart about money, interest is a big deal. So you want to make sure that the interest that you have is working for you, not against you. And so a 3% uh, interest rate on money that is yours already can be a bit steep um, and can be avoided, like I said, if you have a whole life policy. Um, let me think. Oh, the last. <laughs> last. 
Um, number four, I don't know, I got a phone call coming just now, but number four would be uh, if you're close to retirement and you take a TSP loan, like say you're 62 years old right now and you need to take a loan out right now, you have to pay that money back within 90 days after retirement or you had to you'll be you'll be that money will be taxed used as a uh, income you'll be taxed on it um which is which can be a big deal whereas with whole life the money you take out is never taxed so that's some of the uh the pros and cons you know to 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 having a whole life policy again i'm just going to recap them for you you get the multiple withdrawals with the, with, with with the whole life policy you got the uh no processing fee you also got you can you can you can borrow the money and not have to worry about paying it back after retirement, and then you don't have to pay the three percent interest rate on the money that's yours already. So look, you know, whole life isn't always the best, but it's great. I mean, it's not always the best, but it's good to have. Um, there's other ways to invest, but it's something that you should you should definitely have within your portfolio. It's not the only thing, but it's something you should have. Um, so you know, if you got any questions, feel free to. Uh, Go to fedlegacycall.com. You can set up a call with me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have or just comment below and uh, I'll answer some questions for you. Again, peace and blessings. Hope you have a fantastic new year. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.